Hi guys, it's a follow-up video about my new workbench. So I've installed the first shelf. Uh, I decided to cut the threaded rods off at this point and install this extension nuts uh, because it's very difficult to uh, thread uh, to um, bolt this nut on all the way from the top to the original rod, which was about like four feet tall. So uh, I cut them off, and then I'm going to cut them off at the next shelf level as well, just for uh, easy assembly and disassembly in the future if I have to take this thing apart. Uh, I am I will be selling my place and moving to a house so uh, I, I'm gonna take this workbench with me. I spent too much time building it, too much effort, too much money. Um, the pipes here originally I wanted them to have mirror finish. As you can see they're near mirror uh, but uh, I didn't finish them. I didn't finish them because it's a pain in the ass. So uh, the, the pipe, it's a two inch pipe, it comes just to standard aluminum pipe. I bought it from a local metal supplier and it's very, uh, has dull finish print on it and so on. So I built a, what I call a ghetto lathe to polish it. Uh, basically it's two uh, uh, ball bearings like this on either side and uh, this is a half inch bolt and uh, the pipe is sandwiched in between those um, wooden washers slash pucks as I call them and uh, there's a two in, uh, one and seven eighths uh, piece of wood inside and this is I believe two and a quarter piece of wood on the outside to, as a stop and there's a screw that goes into this hole that attaches the pipe uh, to the wood so it doesn't slip and then here I attach my cordless drill and a cordless and uh, zip tie the trigger turn the, uh, like tape the trigger basically to the drill so it's all, always on and this pipe would spin and I would just run different grids of sand tape on top of it I start with uh, 400, then they go 800 grit, and then 1600, then 2000, and, they, and after that I use a special polishing paste to uh, bring it to a mirror finish. One of the pipes, one of these four pipes, the original, it is mirror finish, like you can't see it, it's the one in the back I believe. There is a segment about this big that's actually perfect mirror, and uh, I gave up because there's, it's, there's a lot of work involved to make it, to bring it to a mirror finish. Um, so. My next segment of pipe is just going to be gray stock like this. Maybe if I have time I'll polish it to near mirror like this one. And uh, I find the construction is extremely uh, strong, extremely sturdy. Um, you can see this, this nuts are tightened up so the pipe is sandwiched between this nut and the one that's under the table. And uh, the, the, this, this type of construction provides extreme strength. Um, I can push on the whole. I can push the whole table just by the corner of the shelf, and there is no flex at all. So uh, this is and plus once I put the equipment on, there's going to be only downward pressure uh, from the equipment. And uh, if the pipe, if the shelf flexes, there might be some sideways uh, inwards uh, tension on the pi on the pipe and on the threaded rod, but uh, it's going to be minimal. Most of the most of the pressure is going to be downward pressure, so and the pipe can handle easily probably maybe three, four thousand pounds, which you know I'm not going to have. So, anyways, just wanted to show you my half-finished table. Hope you enjoyed.